one way to get there. Spins. Oh, so it starts with R. You went through a lot of effort to arrange this meeting. But before we go any further, answer my question. Who the hell? Mm hmm. Why don't you tell me who you are first? In a world full of suspicion, treachery, and hunters, we're the Synth's only friends. We're the railroad. So answer my question.
I followed the Freedom Trail looking for the railroad. I'm not your enemy. If that's true, you have nothing to fear. Who told you how to contact us? I helped Carl out of a jam. He knows a guy who knows a guy, and, and they hooked me up with a lead. This will go a lot better if you stick to the truth. Who told you about us? I don't want to get anyone into trouble. We'll find out, one way or another. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the leader of the railroad. And you are Deacon. Where have you been? You're having a party. What gives with my invitation? I need intel. Who is this? Wow. Newsflash, boss. This guy is kind of a big deal out there. Do we know each other? I didn't need to meet you to hear about you. You have made waves. You've left a trail of destruction in your wake. Gone places no sane person would go alone. So you're vouching for him? Yes, trust me. He's someone we want on our side. That changes things. So, stranger, why did you want to meet with us anyway? My son, Sean, was kidnapped. I'm looking for help to find him. Someone stole your boy? That's terrible. Do you know who did it? For your sake, I hope the Institute isn't involved. Why would the Institute be involved? Many kidnappings in the Commonwealth are perpetrated by the Institute. Why? Who knows? But I've never heard of them taking children. So hopefully they're not involved. I'll have Deacon look into this. If anyone can find a lead on your boy, he can. If we're going to be dealing with you, I need to make sure we're on the same page. You know what a synth is, right? I've heard rumors. What are they, really? The Institute created them. Synthetic humans. They're mostly organic, part machine. Somewhere along the line, they became more than just constructs. They think, they feel, and they act just like you and me. The Institute treats synths as property, as tools. Why does the Institute treat them that way? They're playing God, tinkering with things they don't fully understand. From that lofty vantage, it's easy to deny their creation's very humanity. That sounds like slavery. Exactly. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question, the only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man, even if that man is a synth? Could you elaborate? Answer with your gut on this, your heart. If you had to put yourself in danger to save a synth, would you do it? Once, I pledged my life to protect my countrymen. I don't see this as any different. Well said. We'll do what we can to look into your missing boy. What the Institute has done to your family and others is what drives us. Normally, you're exactly the type of person we try and recruit. But right now, we don't have the time to train up a new agent. There are, however, other valuable ways you can contribute. And in turn, we can help you. See Deacon for details. You're free to go.
Hope you didn't mind the reception. When you tango with the Institute, you gotta be careful when someone new gets on the dance floor. Do you really have to be so cagey? Seems charms at a premium down here. The precautions are necessary. In our business, if we underestimate our enemy's capabilities, it's game over. But it's all good now. I vouched for you, nobody got shot. Still, I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. Thanks. So tell me, why did you vouch for me? In our little outfit, it's my job to know things. And with everything you've done, it's clear you're capable. A dangerous enemy. And I'm betting a valuable ally. But why the trust? You can't be taking it all on faith. I don't know if we can trust you, but I hope we can. We just survived a hell of a crisis, so we may just be a teeny weeny bit desperate for new members. If everything was sunshine and bottle caps, we'd probably play a longer getting to know you game. But we don't have that luxury. Really? Is that all? I've heard a lot of things about you. Enough to want to give you a chance. So Dez wants me to make you a tourist. That's what we call someone who helps out with the odd job here and there. What a waste. I'm just gonna come out and say this. The railroad needs you. You sure you need me? Desdemona didn't seem to care. She's just thinking of the time and manpower it would take to train you. And if you were some hick from the burbs that didn't know your ass from a rocket launcher, she'd be right. But I'm betting someone like you just needs a few pointers. And a target. You got my attention. I got a job. Too big for me, just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Des invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. What's the job? So, up front, the only thing I'll say is that it's gonna be a wild and dangerous ride, but probably nothing new for someone like you. Sign me up, then. Perfecto! Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there. Hey. Got a few things to take care of. I'll see you at Lexington. We'll file out separately after you leave. Best not to attract attention here. Desdemona. We'll file out separately after you leave. Best not to attract attention here. Des says we stay here until you leave. No pressure. Uh, <clears throat> Saw some of you work along the trail. Not bad. For a human, that is. For a human? What do you mean? You were born in the Wild Human Model 1.0. You ain't bad for that model. Not in the same league as us since, but... Hey, not your fault. Wait. You're a synth? In the artificial flesh. And before you start with all the questions, the only thing I'll say about it is this. All those rumors out there are bullshit. I'm as real a girl as you'll ever meet. The only difference is... I bet your assembly instructions were a hell of a lot more fun. Listen, you caught us at a shit time. We're still recovering from something I can't get into. We're a man down, though. And if anything Deacon said about you is true, I'd like you on our team. What? You don't believe Deacon? Given what I saw, yeah. He might be the real deal. I know Dez said we don't got room, but talk to Deacon. I'm sure he's got an angle. He always does. Hey, Glory. Des says we stay here until you need to meet us. No we'll pressure. Know coming. Can't wait to get out of this place. Gives me the creeps. Hey, can't wait to get out of this place. Gives me the creeps. We'll file out separately. Out not to attract attention here. Hey. Too many 
folks these days count on violence to solve their problems. You only have to look around to see where that got us. Hey. I'm all ears. Hey, Valentine. Looks like you got something to say. Your thoughts? Always another case to close. Your thoughts? You see a lot of folks at their worst in my line of work. Hard to not let it get to you sometimes. Your thoughts? The Commonwealth's not an easy place to travel alone. Nice to have someone watching my back. Your thoughts? What a different world it'd be if folks just listened to the wisdom of the past. Your thoughts? I've been told the Valentine Detective Agency signs are an eyesore. But they sure bring in the business. Are things okay between you and me? I've been thinking about that myself. I suppose we're okay. I feel like we could be doing more for folks out here, but...
we're gonna catch this Pikmin psycho? Slippery bastard got away before. But Slab won't leave a man breathing after he's hunted our crew. I heard Pikmin skin Roy a lot. I have to snatch this as well. You hear me, Pikmin? You're a dead man! Pikmin skin voice Royal found your little secret entrance upstairs. Let the rat it's just a matter of time. Gives me the creeps. Just thinking about it. When we find you, we're gonna tear you apart, Pikmin. You're gonna wish you were never born, Pikmin. Pikmin, you can't hide down there forever. Hey. Playing hide and seek. Pikmin skin Roy alive You're a dead after man. he snatched him. Let the rats get at him. Gives me the creeps just thinking. You're gonna wish you were never you. born, Pikmin. Faster we clip this asshole, the better. Always feels like something's watching me in here.
robber. Hey, I paid up, so get lost. I can rest easy knowing that Wolfgang is rotten in hell. Thank you. Do you need anything? I'll take a look, sure. All salvaged. I got a store to run here. You gonna buy? Sure. Let's take a look. It's all worth every cap I'm charging. Hey there. If you're here to trade, let's trade. Let's see what you have. A little bit of everything. Shop's open. What do you want? I'll take a look, sure. It's all worth every cap I'm charging.
Deacon? Is that you? Like the disguise? It's Wastelander Camo. This is my pile of garbage, asshole. Back off. Good, right? <laughs> You're lucky I didn't do one of my face swaps, too. Back. Excuse me. Like the disguise? It's Wastelander Camo. This is my pile of garbage, asshole. Back off. Good, right? <laughs> You're lucky I didn't do one of my face swaps, too. You can change your face? I put myself under the knife every year or two. New face, new body, you know, the full makeover. It keeps our enemies guessing. I almost didn't recognize you. That's the point. So, about the job. The railroad's only recently been using the old North Church. Our old base was underneath the Slocum's Joe. We had a pretty sweet setup until the Institute found us. Your base was under a donut shop? It's a lot better than it sounds. Well, it was, until it was blown to hell. What happened? Our HQ was strong, defensible. Heck, we thought it was secure. Inside a minute, the Institute troopers breached the doors and turned it into a shooting gallery. The survivors didn't have time to grab anything. So we're getting something important we had to leave behind. What exactly are we looking for? I'll tell you when we get inside. 
I know that's a bum deal, but strategic ignorance has saved our organization more times than I can count. We got a tourist nearby. He or she has information on the base. So let's pump him for information before we dive in. For now, I'll take point. So I'm looking for rail signs, symbols we use to send messages to each other. If you like that, we got signs and counter signs, dead drops, even a secret handshake. Tourists should have a trail left for us. Here we go. Rail sign. The arrow in the center indicates a direction. So our tourist is up ahead. Let's keep going. Got another rail sign, right there. See the plus in the center? That means there's an ally nearby, our tourist. You take point on the conversation. Look, no matter what he says, you just say, mine is in the shop. Trust me. Hey. counter do you have a goddamn tiger counter mine is in the shop who the hell is he hq said they were sending one agent not two sorry i'm new he's Why do you need a Geiger counter? Is this place irradiated? Wait, what? Whoa, whoa, easy there. He meant to say, mine is in the shop. That's better. 
My heart almost burst out of my chest. Who the hell is he? HQ said they were sending one agent, not two. Sorry, I'm new. He's just showing me the ropes. All right. The wall is my witness. I thought I was dead. It's about goddamn time you headquarters bastards got here. Are you in danger? I signed on for light recon. But that little slocum's jaw of yours is crawling with goddamn chrome dome since sons of bitches. <sighs> if I haven't been made yet, I'll be spotted when I leave here. I'm goddamn trapped. Fronts fortified to hell and back. They place mines all over the goddamn place. What do you mean by chrome dome synths? You know, them early model synths. Looks like metal wrapped over mechanical innards. You see them here and there doing who knows what for the Institute. They have a minefield? Yeah, the mother of all minefields. I couldn't draw you a map if I tried. I appreciate all you've done. I hope it helps. I really do. As soon as it's safe, I'm getting the hell out of here. So if you need anything else, you better ask soon. Hey. Ricky. You need something else? You've done enough for us. Goodbye. Damn straight. Hey, Ricky. You need something else? You've done enough for us. Goodbye. Damn straight. Hey, Ricky. You need something else? Ricky, you ready to be a hero? Someone they'll sing songs about? We're storming that base, and we need a distraction. A big one. You must think I'm a real dumbass to get myself killed for some song. Screw you! Hey, Ricky. You should get the hell out of here and don't look back. Hey, Ricky. You need something else? We're assaulting the base. Once we strike, use your rifle to pick off anyone you can see. A lot of lives are depending on us. You silver-tongued son of a bitch. All right, I'll take a couple shots. But if I see any of them coming for me, I'm running for the hills. We're done. Well, isn't Ricky just a ray of sunshine? You think he's telling the truth? Speaking of truth, why did you lie to Ricky? My job in the railroad is intel. That job's easier if no one knows who I am. So, I lied. I do that. So you handled the talky talk and I got to watch from the sidelines. Go team us. Why would Ricky lie? People always got reasons to lie. The Institute could have turned him. Or, more likely, he's just seriously pissed off at us. Take your pick. He doesn't strike me as the dishonest type. Yeah, that's my read, too. First rule in this business is never go against your gut. So, if we take him at his word, the front door has mines, synths, and probably other fun and exciting prizes. So, we're going in through the escape tunnel. The donut shop has an escape tunnel? What? Doesn't everyone have an escape tunnel? Seriously, though? Thank God for that tunnel. 
If it weren't for that, there wouldn't be any railroad left. The tunnel has got to be easier than a frontal assault. Easier, but no cakewalk. You lead us there, pal. I got you covered. Back entrance is safer, but be ready for Gen 1s and 2s. So it's time you learn why we're here. We're retrieving a pro... We're in. The back entrance is safer, but be ready for Gen 1s and 2s. So it's time you learn why we're here. We're retrieving a prototype developed by our good Dr. Carrington. What can you tell me about the Gen 1s and 2s? The synths didn't start off as nigh-perfect copies of human beings. The Institute had to work up to that level of hubris. Gen 1s and 2s were stepping stones along the way. The railroad's not fully united on how we feel about them. What's there to be divided about? Everyone wants to liberate the Gen 3s, the human-looking synths. Some of the synths in the railroad, like Glory, think we should help earlier models, too. But Gen 1s are basically the same as, well, a Protectron. So the line gets muddy. Do we defend AI rights? Terminals? Hell, turrets? Anytime it gets brought up, <sighs> fireworks. All the old arguments flare up. The upshot is Glory and some others won't run missions like this. Who's Dr. Carrington? All goes well. You'll meet him soon enough. I'm risking my neck here. I want to know what I'm risking it for. So I'll be straight with you. Although you're not going to like it, I have no idea what the prototype does. Us railroad agents are treated like mushrooms, kept in the dark and fed... Well, you get the idea. It's got to be important, though. Des wouldn't risk our hides lightly. Let's find a prototype, then. Together with you? I like our odds. First step is to override the security lockdown. Well, the terminal's on, at least. I'm gonna feed it some passwords. No. 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 Ah, missed one of you cocky bastards. The prototype's deeper inside. Someone left a rail sign here. Uh, this one. We'll be taking
Hostile sensor reading detected. Combat initiated. Good. effort to keep folks out of here.
got it. Entering a secret defense intelligence agency research project. They never officially exist. It's called the Switch War. Prototype is locked up in the heart of the facility. Security's too good.
Warlock's really strong. Does me. They return, I will be ready. Nice. There's an elevator at the end of the hall. It should be a hell of a lot easier fighting the chrome domes on this side of the minefield. Excuse me. I didn't think I'd ever see this place again. Ah, the switchboard. A lot of... Memories here. Get out of here alive. I guarantee you your railroad material.
sleep or eat or anything like that. But if you need to, you do it. Try not to sever anything you might miss. Too many folks these days count on violence to solve their problems. Only have to look around to see where that got us. Attacking human. Styled sensor reading detected. Contact detected.
new guy patched me up, put me on his shoulder, and blasted his way through the rest of the complex. Synths everywhere. Carrying you the whole time? Amazing, right? That's one word for it. Deacon told me you single-handedly secured Carrington's prototype, disabled a minefield, and wiped out a hundred Gen 1s. So is any of that true? Every word he said was true, and then some. A full hundred. I, I can't even imagine. See? Just like I said, boss. I was expecting Deacon to grab a full team, including Glory, to secure that prototype. But instead, just the two of you cleared out the entire switchboard. You'd be insane not to sign him up, Des. You've certainly made an impression on Deacon. He's never spoken about, or lied about, anyone so highly before. Welcome to the railroad, Agent. Why should I join you? If you're having any doubts, you shouldn't. Not very many of us live to retirement. But if you're like me, that doesn't matter. There are great wrongs that need righting. Glad to be aboard. It seems we're very lucky to have you. So you're in. Now we need to know what to call you. Secrecy keeps us alive. Code names are a part of that. So what's yours? Have any suggestions? No. It doesn't work like that. Your life, your name, your choice. Let me think. It's a big decision. Take your time. Have any suggestions? No. It doesn't work like that. Your life, your name, your choice. Call me... Bullseye. Well, from what Deacon says of your fighting skills, Bullseye seems apt. Your first official order is to deliver Dr. Carrington his prototype and see if he can use another pair of hands. But first, it's time to meet the rest of the gang. The location of our HQ is one of our... I'm feeling over here. So surgery. be careful coming oh, in or out. Maybe I'll go blind you never can time. tell when you're being Please. watched. Excuse me. Welcome to the family. We're a colorful and arguably insane bunch. But you're stuck with us now. Speaking of which, if you don't mind a sidekick, let's keep a good thing going and travel together some more. Don't they need you here? My job's mainly intel. So the more places I go, the better I'm doing it. And you are just one big, beautiful distraction. Plenty of opportunities to learn secrets moving around in your shadow. Let's go then. I'm all ready to go. Huh. Deacon. You two taking care of some official business? Mr. Valentine, you flatter me. Hey, Valentine. Time to hit the road? Just looking to trade a little. Oh, sure thing. Hey. Mm hmm? What's mine is yours, pal.
This is it. It may lack the amenities of the switchboard, but it's safe, and we've taken precautions not to be surprised again. Things are chaotic right now, so there's plenty for you to do. Name's Drummer Boy. It's my envious job to keep track of all the dead drops, and grab incoming agents, and tell them where they're needed. I don't suppose you want to switch places. Why is that a bad job? Runners at the bottom of the totem pole in the railroad. Just a hair above tourists. Being HQ's runner is a cut above field work, I suppose. Ah, someone's got to do it. We'll be seeing each other. A lot. Hey, Glory. Hey, you. So the switchboard was crawling with bad guys. Mines and shit, too. Any of that true? Or was Deacon bullshitting me again? Why don't you believe his story? Saving sense ain't easy. So when we score a win, sometimes the propaganda gets laid on thick. How'd you take down the old HQ? Please tell me you didn't go along with Deacon's in and out like a ghost crap. There's a lot to be said for ambushing enemies from the shadows. Oh no, another one? Well, welcome to the party. After what happened to Tommy Whispers, we need another tough son of a bitch that can get shit done. Who's Tommy Whispers? Tommy was a second heavy at HQ. He went KIA after the Institute assholes took out the switchboard. With him gone, I've been running missions nonstop. So I'm damn happy you're here. They call me Glory, the Angel of Death, the ass kicking poster child of a liberated synth. You really are a synth, right? You weren't pulling my leg before. That's what the maid in the Institute stamp on my ass says. I have a lot of questions about synths, about the Institute. Would you be willing to answer a few? If I have to. I know a whole lot less than you think. Mainly, I did surface detail. Combing over ruins and shit for salvage. The few times I was in the Institute proper, all I was to them was their thinking, feeling, hammer. What's the Institute like? Clean. Lots of metal and machines. But I really only saw a few rooms of it. The barracks and where I worked. I helped those assholes make more synths. Synth development is what they called it. How do they make synths? Damn if I know. The machines are massive, complicated, not like anything I've seen out here. No matter what Dez and others say, since ain't human, we're assembled bone by bone, muscle by muscle. I've seen it. I'm gonna hit the range. I need to shoot something now. Hey, what's the word? I need to ask you something. What do you want to talk about? Your thoughts? The Brotherhood. In Capital Wasteland, they really weren't bad. But now... So, how are we doing, Deacon? Just happy to get out and about. Gives me plenty of opportunities to do what I do. Your thoughts? This partnering up, it's weird. Sometimes I just want to pop a stealth boy and bug out. Not really an option now. Your thoughts? I'm thinking next time I go to town, I'll dress up as a Mr. Andy. If I pull that off, I'll be a legend. I wanted to make sure things were okay between you and me. We're fine. Kind of wish there was a little less violence around, but hey, that's the Commonwealth for you. Didn't have anything else. Another time.
Bet you never met a sin before glory. Hey there. Tinker Tom's cooking up something. I hope it goes better than last time. Glad you signed on. <laughs> Means I might get to take the occasional night off. Excuse me. Deacon's record is the best. You could learn a lot from him. Everyone's all, you've been hitting the Kims way too hard. But I got my eyes open. I see. Excuse me. The sense of sweep says you're clean. Hooray! We're bug free. I went through a sensor sweep? Every test Des would let me run. Full EMF scan, biological sniffers, and other state-of-the-art security. So the sweep says the Institute isn't watching you. Or us. But the test lie, man. Okay, have you eaten anything out there? Because if you have, they got you. Are you seriously asking if I eat food? The food out there is dangerous. It's contaminated. That's why I grow my own food. Reclaimed pure water, local nutrients. Nothing goes in me that I don't see. That, that's how you stay safe. The Institute has these tiny microscopic robots in the food, man. And they report back. Tom, that's rubbish. You just don't get it, Carrington. The Institute is in your blood. They're in my blood? Absolutely not. Tom, we ran your tests extensively. We found red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets. Everything you'd expect. And that doesn't get you the least bit suspicious. The results were too perfect. Too expected, and that's how they fool you. Could the Institute really do that? Look, everyone says Tinker Tom is crazy. Until I'm right, you gotta understand. Those Institute scientists have centuries on us. Just working like crazy little bees, dreaming up the most messed up stuff you can imagine. Remember, in the blood. Okay, okay. If you really want to be safe, let me give you a little shot. Des, Des Demona, says no one has to, but it will kill those little robots. There's battery acid in that serum of yours. You can't nuke an omelet without irradiating some eggs. You ready to shoot up? What's in the shot? We got algae, some yummy bacteria culture, and just a little bit of battery acid. But, but we gotta burn those babies out of you. It's a hard reboot of your system, man. Hit me, Tom. Yeah, now you talking. Now you're encouraging him. Hey, you, you get it, man. I make things around here. You, you go and do. You do whatever. And come back, and I will set you up. What do you make? All the custom toys you feel, agent shoes. My boys and I make. We're thinking outside the box, man. Gotta get real creative. Real wacky to stay ahead of those Institute eggheads. Don't even get me started on all their secret projects. Now, I got all these ideas in my head. So building time. The boys have been working on some new toys. Uh, Wanna take a look? I mean, the, uh, the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. It's Diamond City. Radio. Hey. What do you have in stock? Well, it changes, depending on what's on hand. Uh, we lost everything when the switchboard went lights out. Hopefully our agents score more supplies in the field so me and my boys can, you know, make <laughs> You need anything? What do you have in stock? Well, it changes, depending on what's on hand. Uh, we lost everything when the switchboard went lights out. Hopefully our agents score more supplies in the field so me and my boys can, you know, make even more toys. You wanna see what we got? Show me what you got. Okay, here's what I got.
to flush your system with Rataway before your hair falls out. It's not an easy road to be chosen, but you're never alone in this. For every synth that makes it out, there's a round on you. agent. Not even worth picking up, boss. Sorry, Tinker Tom's got me doing <clears throat> something. Mm, Vault Blue, huh? Not a bad look. Processing. Agent. Bullseye. Your arrival was not calculated. What do you mean it wasn't calculated? Temporarily unable to process verbal input. Still processing. Preliminary adjustments to statistical models complete. Commencing introduction. I was, am, and will most likely be, Pam. Predictive analytic machine. Do you work for the railroad? Yes. My goals and the railroad organization have a high degree of correlation. They provide data. I provide first-order approximations of the behaviors of all residents of the region, designated Commonwealth. Rephrasing. I predict the future. You see the future? That is this unit's primary goal. Caution. Biological life forms behave erratically, unpredictably. All output subject to an extremely high margin of error. Just how inaccurate are you? The smaller the group, and the greater the time frame, the less accurate I become. But all predictions are affected by the human element. Operation complete. You are a rogue variable. No current or previous models predict your presence or existence. Query. What is your point of origin? Why do you want to know? If I cannot explain your existence, future predictive models may have an even greater degree of inaccuracy. I repeat, what is your point of origin? I'm from Vault 111, if that's what you mean. Accessing Vault 1. 11. Cryo Vault. Believed destroyed. Conversation terminated. Pending construction of new probability matrix. Rephrasing. Goodbye.
If you're not injured, please bother someone else. Desdemona told me to give you this. An extraordinary feat to recover this, but that's hardly the point. Without a lick of training and us knowing hardly anything about you, Des has invited you to join HQ. It would have been nice if she had consulted with her second in command, but what's done is done. <sighs> Since you're here now, we might as well put you to work. What, you don't think I can handle a dangerous job? The danger doesn't concern me. Your work at the switchboard proves you can deal with that. I just hope the mission doesn't require knowledge about synths and our procedures. Something you've had scant opportunity to learn. Tell me what you need, Doc. One of our field agents, Old Man Stockton, needs help with the runaway synth, H-222. So headquarters, as always, puts out the fires that others can't be bothered to put out themselves. The paranoid old bat won't even tell us the problem. He insists that we get our intel from a dead drop. What's a dead drop? Oh, shit. I knew I forgot to tell you about something. Oh, dear lord. A dead drop is a mailbox with a rail sign on it. It's a common means of communication for us, so keep an eye out for them. When you make contact with Stockton, he won't give you the time of day unless you give him the proper countersign. The current sign is, do you have a Geiger counter? And the counter is, mine is in the shop. Please tell me Deacon taught you that at least. You can trust me with this. I'll get it done. Just don't bollocks it up too badly. If things go wrong, I'm the one who has to patch everyone back together. Stockton is a prominent businessman at Bunker Hill. The dead drop will be near there. Use the escape tunnel in the back to get there quicker. Hey, Carrington. I still can't believe Dez assigned you to our HQ. Well, I did risk my neck to recover your prototype. Be that as it may. Put simply, you shouldn't be here. It isn't a question of competence. It's a simple matter of security. And I'm going to compromise your security... how? Deacon's assurances aside, we don't know you. So your trustworthiness is up for discussion. Brushing that aside, before anyone joins HQ, they've usually spent years in the field. But you, you're dangerously ignorant of our procedures. Our protocols. <sighs> Since you're one of us now, might as well try to keep you alive. If you need patching up, see me. What type of doctor are you? My specialty is need to know and all that. However, I assure you I can treat any ailments or wounds you're likely to encounter. Word to the wise, be prepared to improvise. You may find your operational orders lacking. You're obviously one of the smartest people here. What do you really mean by that? No one doubts Desdemona is uh, inspirational. But let's just say strategy may not be her forte. You can confide in me. I hesitated to bring it up, but you will be risking your life on our behalf. When planning a mission, a certain degree of clinical detachment can be invaluable. Provided by someone like you. As the third senior most member of our organization, I do have the honor of participating in the planning of our missions. But my counsel is not always heeded. 
Focus on the objective. Everything else is just a distraction. Good luck. Hey, Carrington. I suppose you're here for my medical services. Let's see what's wrong with you today. Any news out there, Doctor? Got nothing. Sorry. Just trying to practice medicine. Could use some supplies, actually. Let's see what I can spare. Until my shift ends. You from one of those vaults? You got too many teeth to be a scammer. Working with compartmentalized information is a difficult transition for new agents. You gotta be careful, man. Excuse me. You need anything? Based off what Deacon said, I expect great things from you. Things are quiet. Security's too good. Hey. Sure, I can help you out. Go check that out. No, sorry. Won't be able to hack this.
Diamond City thinks it's got a lock. Caravan or Raider? What? I said caravan or raider. Which are you? I really don't understand what you're asking. Seriously? This is Bunker Hill. All the caravans in the Commonwealth come through here, and every raider outfit in the area gets protection money to keep their paws off the market and our homes. So there's only two types of people coming through here. Caravans and raiders. Which are you? I'm here on my own. Freelance, huh? All right. Come on in, but no gunfire. Market's open. You can do as much trading as you like. If someone builds defenses like that, they're building it for a damn good reason. caravan so don't bother hi I'm Meg you mean you to the hill for 10 caps I can give you the tour nobody knows a place like me any chance I can get it for free fine the markets in the back bars in the corner and the outhouse is over the wall bye Never let your guard in. Welcome, yeah. my friend. Like Might I ask, do you have a Geiger counter? Why do you ask? We're expecting a full shipment of Geiger counters shortly. Some scavenger found them in an abandoned vault. Come back later, and perhaps you'll be able to purchase one of these life-saving devices. Look, I'm trying to relax. I've been on the road a long time. I'm half tempted to join the railroad. Hey, Holy you. Shit. Talk some sense into my numbskull son. Getting involved with the railroad is just trouble. What's the railroad? The Freedom Fighters, willing to risk their lives for sins. And that means they fight the Institute. Only ones that do. What? You think that's noble or some bullshit? That just makes them idiots. No son of mine is going to throw his life away with those lunatics. And what are synths? Synthetic people made by the Institute. Look so human you can't tell them from us. They're monsters is what they really are. And how do you know that? Have you ever met one? If you can't tell who's a synth or not, they can't be all that bad. It's always good to help people. I have no problem helping people. Synths, though? All I do here is help crusty old caravan hands, no offense, go blind off rot gut. At least the railroad's fighting the Institute. And why not save synths? Might as well go off and join the Death Claw Preservation Society. What did the Institute do to you? Ah, oh, Gary. He is, well, was, one of Cricket's hired guns. He hits the road and comes back to find his wife missing. Yeah, so the Institute kidnaps people. I'm not saying I like it, but the world's a dangerous place. It's not your job to save it. And dealing with the railroad, the Institute. Might as well put a bullet in your own damned skull. It'll just save you time. Trying to save synths sounds noble to me. I'm not alone in this, Dad. Enough. We got customers. Hey, barkeep. Yeah, I need a little something to shake <coughs> the dust off. Bar's open. What do you reckon? Just don't get so drunk Run you shoot up the place. 
There's a little extra if you let me loiter a spell. We'll see where you the bottle takes me. Technically, everything is owned by all the caravan companies that come through here. We pool the money together and split it up. But as far as serving drinks goes, this bar is all mine. Which caravans come through here? Pretty much all of them. All the ones I know about, anyway. It takes a certain kind of person to brave the Commonwealth trade routes. Don't know what started first, the Bunker Hill settlement or the caravans. But they're practically one and the same nowadays. Either way, folks need drinks, so I opened up this bar here. Lots of alcohol on tap for you. What's your opinion of Bunker Hill? Honestly? Kind of amazed we've lasted this long. We're always one broken deal away from complete disaster. But something keeps this place in one piece. Maybe the old spirits are looking out for us, huh? Hey, let's get some liquor in you before you start asking about God knows what next. You have any work? Well, there is one thing. Dad, you're not going to send him on that same wild goose chase. Hey, he brought it up, not me. As I was saying, before us Savaldi started slinging rot gut for thirsty caravan hands, we came from a line of Minutemen. My grandpa, Brent Savaldi, was the last. He died fighting raiders just outside Malden. If you could find any of his personal effects, well, he didn't mean the world to me. If the price is right, I might help. Malden ain't the safest of places. I suppose I could spare 200 caps. If the price is right, I might help. This ain't a haggling matter. I'll pay 150 caps. Take it or leave it. I'll find your grandpa. Just be careful, all right? I don't want any more deaths on my conscience. Almost ready to do another circuit. Uh, only <clears throat> two men on the line. Fine place to sleep right here. Reasonable rate. This some kind of motel? I prefer the term flop house. But don't tell my pa that. Gets him mad. When caravans pull into town, they need a place to sleep. So we ran out all the beds we can. So did you want one? How many caravans come through here? All of them. They kind of own the whole town, but money still has to change hands, so they know which caravan owes what. Bunker Hill is one big money-makes-the-world-go-round kind of place. Raider problem? Pay him off. Supply problem? Buy more. Charge more. Hey, weren't we talking about you renting a room? You need one? So Bunker Hill just buys its way out of problems? It's all they know. Caravan folk are money folk. And all the people who settled here retired from the caravans. Now that doesn't mean a Bunker Hill boy doesn't know how to sling a gun. But why waste the bullets if you can buy your way out of trouble for less? Hey, did you want that room or not? Not today. You won't get a better deal. This is the only flop house in town. Mark gets the white building with all the fancy columns. Always someone doing trading there. Kay can patch you up if you're hurt. Best doc and vet around. Huh. I haven't seen you before. If you need a doctor, let's get you examined. So, you're a doctor? Veterinarian, actually. And don't give me that look. Bones get set the same way whether you got two or four of them. So let's talk about you and what kind of help you need. You're a veterinarian? I'm an old caravan girl, okay? You learn to take care of the animals, or you don't have a caravan for very long. Then you get ambushed, a couple of friends and family start bleeding out on the floor, and you learn how to patch a few wounds. You learn triage, too. Satisfied? Now let's talk about what you need patched up. Hear anything, Doc? Been out of the loop. Lots of sick and injured taking up my time. Now if you need treatment, let me know. Any news out there, Doctor? Been out of the loop. Lots of sick and in... Actually, I need some supplies for the road. All right. But go easy on the chems. Mm -hmm. 
Stay there. Bunker Hill is like a home away from home. Only place caravan folk hey. have to mingle together. Let me know? take a look at you. See where it hurts. I need some supplies, Doug. I suppose I could spare some stimp. Heads up. Yeah? <clears throat> in the flesh. Your thoughts? I ever tell you about the time I was in Capital Wasteland? Now there's a tale. Your thoughts? Please, you do the talking. If I pick anything up, I'll let you know afterwards. So, how are we doing, Deacon? It's not boring traveling with you. I'll say that much. Your thoughts? Sometimes it's hard to take Dez seriously. I remember when she was a green recruit. Nothing else I needed. Another time. You there. We need to have a conversation. Do I know you? No. But I've heard of you. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. I don't mind danger, so long as I get paid well enough. You will be well paid. I can promise you that. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me. But you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. Hey, Edward. Go and talk to Jack. Then we can get down to business. Hey there. Ah, are you here about the Geiger counter? I have a Geiger counter built into my pip boy. What a fortunate soul you are. Never will you have to worry about walking into a hot spot unawares. If you're ever in the market to sell that handy device, please let me know. Hi. Ah, are you here about the Geiger counter? Mine is in the shop. You? I was expecting someone of the uh, feminine persuasion. You're with our mutual friends, yes? You're the one that needs help, right? Indeed, I do. You've just joined, haven't you? All you need to know is this is the first stop for all our new packages. So maintaining proper security here and preventing any unnecessary delays is crucial. Why do all packages start here? If you don't know the answer to that already, I'm not certain I should tell you. I'm helping you out. The least you can do is answer my question. When a package leaves the manufacturer, they go to a specific location. The location changes, but for now, it's here. So if I'm compromised, the whole supply chain dries up. 
How do they know where to go? I think I've said too much already. My current package has been in my possession far too long. I'm supposed to deliver the package to some place nearby. But raiders have complicated matters. So, if you could... If it's such a problem, why not just change the delivery site? The rendezvous site has worked for flawlessly many times. Introducing variables is always dangerous. So clearing out the raiders is overall safer than risking our package being intercepted by our competitors. It's scheduled to be a nighttime delivery. So if you could clear out the undesirables before dawn, we can do this tonight. See you soon. What have you got to trade today? What have you got to trade today? Hi. Got a problem? Hi there. I guess you're from one of the vaults, huh?
Excuse me. Everything looks clear. This is H222. H2, here's the person I talked to you about. What sort of name is H222? It's my designation. The Institute doesn't bother to name their property. Synths are just numbers and letters to them. I'll fire up the signal. And there. Time for me to go. Keep H2 safe. Someone will be here shortly. Hey, H2. From what I've been told, it's probably safer if I don't say anything. I don't want to put you in any more danger. Why not talk to me? I don't really know. But Mr. Stockton told me it's best for everyone. I don't think he was lying to me. I wanted to thank you. This world is overwhelming. But people like you make me feel better about coming here. I have a lot of questions, especially about the Institute. That's precisely what Mr. Stockton said I shouldn't talk about. At all. If I understand more about the Institute, I may be able to help you, and others, better. Listen, I don't want to cause any of you any more trouble than I already have. So, I'll just hold my tongue. Thanks again. Don't shoot. Bullseye, right? And my man Deacon, still with the same old face? What? It's been three whole months. You're getting slow. I keep meaning to go to the face doctor, but who has the time, right? I heard about you. Walked the Freedom Trail, cleared out Switchboard. Glad you joined the team. You here to pick up a package? Yeah, I'm, I'm here for the package. Speaking of which... Hey, you. You okay? A little rattled, but I've never been better. The other man, he said I shouldn't talk too much. He told you right, H2. You'll need a real name and a new face, but we'll get to that. Oh, listen. There's more than raiders behind me. Afraid we need a little more help. What do you mean, a new face? We gotta file off the serial numbers on new arrivals, make it hard for the Institute to find them. Most sense going for a brand new set of memories as well, you know, for that extra protection and all. But first, we gotta get them to safety. We need to get to Ticonderoga's safe house, my home. A lot of sense fresh off the boat crashed there until we smuggled them out of the Commonwealth. You do anything else there? Most of what we do is look after the new guys. They usually got a million questions, so I try and answer as best I can. We got some of our own questions, too, about the Institute and whatnot. Agents sometimes drop by to lay low if the bad guys are on their tail. Never a dull moment. I'll lead the way.
Hey, high rise. We can catch up with Tycon. Just gotta make it there alive first.
High rise. And we're here. All in the night's work for you agent types. Huh. So, is this a normal operation? More than I'd like. Sometimes I can sneak our friends through all by my lonesome. But other times it's like the damn raiders are holding a convention. Working with you made it a whole lot easier. If you ever need grub, bullets, or just a power nap, take the elevator up to Tycon. My house is yours. And Deacon, try not to give the rookie too much shit. Deacon may be a terrible liar, but it always pays to have him on your side. Later. Heads up. Tell me what's on your mind. Your thoughts? Instinct is a powerful tool in our business. Rely on it. Excuse me. For the railroads never dull. You're from HQ, right? Up next, fallout. The fallout. Tycon's one of the few places I feel safe. Not recommending it. Good old Tycon. High rise is one of the best. Hey, nice job with H2. Hey. High Rise runs a good safe house. High Rise runs a good safe house. How's it? Tycon's one of the few places I feel safe. Trying to impress someone? Come on, drop some of that. Running for the railroads never dull.
Protectron on duty. Protect and serve. Terminal only. Gotta find the terminal.
Tinker Tom's been looking for you. Hi. Up there, we're showing you being watched. Always. The H-222 situation appears to have been resolved satisfactorily. There's yet more to be done. Since the fall of the switchboard, we've ascertained the fate of all but two safe houses. I want you to check on Augusta. The safe houses are in trouble, too? I thought only the switchboard was attacked. Ah, the Institute didn't content itself with just destroying our headquarters. No. They launched simultaneous strikes on all we hold dear. Herkimer and Allen's safe houses are both confirmed kills. Many fear Augusta will be added to that list. How bad did the Institute hurt us, Doc? Frankly, we're lucky there's a railroad left at all. I don't remember a time our numbers have been so few, but the mission carries on. Tell me about Augusta. Details away to the dead drop. Have a care. Odds are very good you're walking into something nasty. of Bunker Hill and now we're at the dirt, not hardly known. Please, keep coming. Dez has given me clearance to set up my atmospheric sensors. Finally, I can prove that the Institute is terraforming the Commonwealth. Eat that, Carrington. Why would the Institute terraform the Commonwealth? It goes back to the Big War. Who set off the first day bomb? The Institute did. They started the whole war to kill everyone except their own diabolical scientists. But what's that have to do with terraforming? Everything, man. You see, humanity didn't kick the bucket like they planned. We're still hanging on. So first step, artificial people come to infiltrate, spy, and salvage the metric tons of gizmos they need. And once they get all the parts they need, whammo! The big atmospheric converter inside Blake Tower starts spewing poison into the stratosphere to kill every last one of us. Yeah, that's really great, Tom. I told Dez I could count on you. So my sensor, I call him Mila, needs to be up high. Real high. Dez forced me to put some cameras and, you know, other low-tech surveillance crap on it to watch the Freedom Trail. Chuck that stuff if you need to. Like, you know, who couldn't spoof a conventional camera, right? I say, I say, huh? Uh, uh, did you say something? We need cameras watching the trail? Look, I engineered the trail markers in code phrase myself. So anybody comes looking for us, whammo, spotted a mile away. Sure, the cameras could add a little insurance, but discovering the truth about the Institute's real plan is way more important. I got the perfect spot picked out. Set Mila up and let the juicy data pour in. We've been traveling for a spell. I was hoping to have some words with you. What do you want to talk about? I'm used to flying solo, but I got to admit, working with you makes me think I've been missing out. Having someone watching your back is refreshing, especially since you never know when the Institute is watching.
You've never had a partner? Not for a long time. Besides, partnering up in the railroad can leave you vulnerable. One more person who can finger you to the Institute. Some people at HQ are jealous. You took the big nap and everyone you knew is long gone. Now, hear me out on the silver lining. If a human in the railroad slips up, then they expose friends and loved ones to danger. You're safe from that. Why would the people they care about be in danger? When the coursers start kicking down doors, they don't just hit railroad safe houses. Some friends and family have been known to get axed. Whether the Institute's motivated by vengeance or faulty intel, it doesn't matter to the people left behind. It doesn't matter much to me. I'm a synth. At least that's what they tell me. So I really don't have anything to lose. For Glory and me and the others, it's easier to dedicate ourselves to the cause. You're a synth? Why didn't you tell me before? I don't like talking about it. I was one of the first synths they did the whole cranium reboot on, so it's a bit of a botched job. Most synths have fun fake memories. A happy home, a family. Me? I got nothing. And that? Well, it does something to you. Since we're traveling together, I want you to take this. It's my recall code. If you ever need to know something about the Institute, read it to me. If you expect me to believe you, I want proof. If you really want proof, you could read that code and find out. Wait a second, uh, maybe that's not a good idea. Don't use the code unless you absolutely have to. It'll wipe my memories. I'm not sure how much of me will even be left. You know, I'd just feel better if you didn't read it until you need it. It's one crisis after another. Welcome to HQ. Desdemona. This isn't the railroad's darkest hour. We will make it through. There's more going on than you know. Trust me. Would it kill them guy. to let me know mission specs before the dead drop? Just once? Use the back entrance. Too much traffic through the church and the burning side.
Look alive. You called? Check it out. No can do.
You know, ammo is cheap. Can we just pay you to go ahead? Run. I need to Terminal's got this locked. I swear I must be going crazy. I'm gonna tell you fucking throw it out!
Face. Come on, I dare you. No sign of him now. Oh! 
like to wander, don't you? I've seen more of the wealth with you than I have the rest of my years combined. Met you, I'd go hold. Stay hit. Alive one. Oh, son of a. No way I could pick this.
bullshit.
word is, Diamond City is under opposition control. Pam wants to talk with you. She's in back. Make sure you never follow me. It's all I'll ask you if you want. Good work on Augusta. I'd rather know the hard truth than live in ignorance. Use the back entrance. Too much traffic through the church and we'll burn this hideout. Confirmed. Agent Bullseye has arrived. I have a mission for you. Without increasing efficiency of synth traffic flow, Odds of entire organization being compromised increase daily. Solution, a new distribution center needs to be established. A distribution center? What's that? The railroad organization calls distribution centers safe houses. A place where synths are stored and then rerouted safely through the region known as the Commonwealth. Mission details commencing. Pacify the target location. Fortify position to protect current and future railroad assets. New distribution center will be codenamed Mercer Safe House. Good luck. Augusta safe house was destroyed by the Institute. It's as I feared. Three safe houses gone. Hard to imagine. I have nothing further for you at the moment. I'm sure someone else could use your help. No shortage of files to be put out.
Loctite.
If I were a sniper, I'd be there. Or there. Or even there. In the spot?
mean, that is. Hancock turns a blind eye to our activities. Makes Good Neighbor a great place to lay low. Kent. There she is, pretty as the posters. The Silver Shroud costume herself. Together with my gun, everything's all set. What are you planning next? I'm still working that out. Some details I want to run by you. Well, after you give me the costume, that is. Go. After all these years, the Silver Shroud is born again. But there's just one problem. I'm just not Silver Shroud material. I could be Rhett Reinhardt, or, or his butler Jarvie Blake. But the Shroud is strong, capable. What happens to the suit? Oh, I have an idea who should wear it. You up for being the Silver Shroud? You already got your own origin story and everything. What with the cryo vault and all. If I go along with this, I could use a little extra. If it'll get you to help, sure. I, I, I may be able to scrounge up a couple of things. Why me? You helped me out when everyone else just laughed at me. And you're from the olden days, just like me. You know how much things have fallen, how much we gotta fight for, to make the place better, so you win? Looks like I get to be the Shroud. The costume and gun are yours, so you patrol good neighbor's streets, and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. 
There's some calling cards, I guess. When you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way, everyone knows the Silver Shroud has returned. Time to fight crime! Enjoying yourself in good neighbor? It's a heck of a town, ain't it? I have a lot of very precise work to do. What do you want? Amari. The memory loungers are complex pieces of equipment. Please don't lean on, jump on. Before you ask, I wasn't responsible for the decor, so I don't want to hear it. 